So I thought I would show you a little bit about how I stack hay. Most people think stacking hay is pretty easy. And for the most part, it's not brain surgery. But what happens is, is for me, when I use the bail wagon here at the house, my place, it works really well. As you've seen some of the videos I've sh shared, it does work and do a nice job. But now that I'm cutting the field 30 minutes away, that'll produce, oh, that'll produce an upwards of 800 to 1,000 bales. So the only luxury I have, and I'll, I'm going to post some videos here in a week or two, is when I'm over there baling, I, I pick up with the bale wagon and then I transfer it directly to my trailer. If you see my, my homepage, it has a picture of the bale wagon at the back of a trailer and I'm stacking that trailer full and then I have to haul it here and pull it in here and I unstack it. So the principle and point I'm trying to make is if you stack hay, if you think about how you do it, you can make it easier on yourself. And I really didn't think about it, to be honest, until my kids left, the hired hands, so to speak. After they left, you had to kind of think about it. So what I do is, is basically, as you see it right here, I have a lower level, a little bit higher level, and a higher, higher level. And then I have one started right at the ground in the middle. So the point of this is, is that when I bring my trailer here, and I have a full load, which is 121 bales. I back it in, of course, through the doors. And I make that, when I build this, I make that to where that trailer just fits in between this side and this side and to the back. And the reason for that is, is I pack uh, five bales high on that trailer. That trailer holds 22 bales on a row. You go five high, that's 110. And then I put 10 down the middle and that gives me 120. The theory is, and, and I do this now, I wanna do this now because when I start stacking, a lot of times I'm so busy and I'm trying to get back and get two trailer loads in, in a night that I don't wanna take the time necessarily to tell you how it's gone. I will probably take footage, but not probably explain. So. The theory is, is, so what you see right there is I've got one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, five layer, six layer. So by rights, I'm gonna have six layers when I come in here and plus on a trailer. So the top layer, I stack off to the top. And as I work down on the trailer, I work down into the lower areas. So when I get to the very bottom here, the, and the, the basis is that me doing this is, is I try, I would rather throw down than throw up because it takes a lot out of you to throw up. Throwing down doesn't take much. So I offload according to the height of my trailer to the according to the height of the pile. So I will start high and I'll take those 10 off, fill that in, and I'll have another row and I'll fill that in and then as I get down to the third and fourth row, I'll fourth row to here, fill back, go to the third row here. Actually, I'll probably reverse that. I'll probably go fourth row to here and stack that and then go over to this. So as I bring in each trailer, you start working your way, kind of pyramid it out. And as I get higher here, I stop and then I'll start filling in the middle. And of course, you fill that up. I should be able to almost fill that full uh, two bales out and have a whole new wall there and then of course when you get to the bottom you can either fill into the back or you can start pitching here off to the sides and it works really well I cut the piece over there in three sections uh, four sections actually because I also cut behind this guy's house and so that's a section on its own and I roughly get almost two trailer loads off each of those sections. So that's 250 bales approximately. And I have to be able to get that up and in and in one night. But my youngest son helped me with some of this that you saw 
uh, last week. What happens is when you get two people stacking hay and you're moving pretty quick, I mean on the stack at the same time, you kind of tend to be a little more careless because you just want to get it done. So I noticed the pile was kind of leaning a little bit. Well, if I'm going to have this in here for a while, um, I don't want it to lean. I want it to look good. I want it to stay good. And uh, so uh, I went ahead and took care of that, moved some of that over here. And uh, um, so I'm ready for when I come back from the field long, long way. So we're getting there. When this is all done, I will probably have probably have most of this filled up up to the doors. Um, generally, uh, if I fill all the way to the back, all the way to the front, between each one of those big wood columns there, um, and up to the rafters, I can generally get 350 bales in there. So I can roughly get 1,500 bales in here if I really wanted to. Um, I was just over there, like I said, and dropped off the swather. It looks really good. Um, so I may have more, I may have less, but most of it will fit in here. I do have one guy that comes and takes right out of the field over there. So he'll take, uh, I think he takes 150. So the first load out of there for me will be a light load. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's how I stack and that's how I've... That's how I started to do it since uh, I don't have the help anymore and it works pretty good. I generally can get one trailer in, go back, load it up, put everything away, cover it up over there, and then I bring the trailer home, park it, and depends on how I feel. If, if I feel fairly good, I'll go ahead and unload it. If not, I'll wait till the next night and unload it and then start the process all over again. So I try to keep all my hay in here. Um, once in a while, I uh, have to take, I have had to put some in my big shed. Um, my little shed right here is still capable of taking probably a half a load. So, um, and that's for my horses usually. So um, yeah, so in the next few weeks, you'll start to see this fill up and all this stuff that you see in here won't be in here it'll be all hay so uh anywho if you like these videos if you uh if you like and you learned something from them please comment below give me a thumbs up um please tell your friends and of course uh subscribe appreciate it thank you bye